Good day again, folks. I wrote a little poem about a bloke we don't see too much of these days when you go through the outback, and that's the Bushman. Machinery, mining, put him out of a job. See, the city's no place for a Bushman. The fast city life doesn't suit. A Bushman belongs in the outback where he's known for his skill and repute. Stride a horse on a far distant station by a campfire in the lonely outback. With a billy of tea and some damper, yeah, the menu's pretty sparse on the track. A bushman could be found on a fence line or branding wieners neath the heat of the sun, droving cattle neath a rain-sodden heaven till dark says the day's track is done. He can be found fixing all things mechanical till they run with nary a hitch. Hang a gate, fix up a pipeline, with a time on a Cobb and Co twitch. A bushman can gentle a brumpy, an outlaw that others can't tame. He introduce it to saddle and bridle. To him, it's just part of the game. Stride a bull at the local rodeo on a spine-cracking journey to hell. Determined that this one won't beat him as he rides for that eight-second bell. Be it crutching, shearing or drafting, all things to which he turns his hand, and done without fuss or bravado, it's second nature to this man of the land. In the pub for a bit of a bender, beer and rum, he'll tip down his neck. No thought for the day or tomorrow, as he squanders another paycheck. Now Bushman will never be wealthy, because riches he'll treat with disdain. He'll work, and he'll drink, and he'll have the odd blue. Then he'll do it all over again. But the time-honoured credo of mateship is folklore that forever will stand. And a mate in the bush is a mate until death, once a bushman has given his hand. Thank you.